Dorothy Dandridge's path in life was set from the start. Born November 9, 1922, to successful African-American character actress Ruby Dandridge, Dorothy was destined to become a groundbreaker in the entertainment industry. On the stage from childhood, Dorothy and her sister formed the Wonder Children. They toured the southern circuit of Baptist churches, performing skits, musical numbers, and even the occasional poem. Confident that she and her daughters could make it big in Hollywood, Ruby Dandridge moved the family to the West Coast during the Depression. The teen girls set up an act with a friend, calling themselves the Dandridge Sisters. They found quick success, winning bit parts in films, touring Europe, and playing sets at the famed Cotton Club. While building her career at the Cotton Club, Dorothy met a young African-American tap dancer by the name of Harold Nicholas. The two were smitten with each other and were married in the fall of 1942. But when their daughter, Harolyn, was born with brain damage, it put an additional strain on a relationship already in trouble. Dorothy and Harold divorced in 1951, and she went back to focusing on her career. When Dorothy was growing up, most African-American actors were relegated to playing maids and butlers in film roles. But Dorothy saw herself as a leading lady. When director Otto Preminger decided to do an all-black version of the Bizet opera Carmen, entitled Carmen Jones, Dorothy won not only the leading role, but also the heart of its white director. While they had a relationship that lasted several years, they ultimately parted ways. Despite this setback in her personal life, Dandridge was at the peak of her career. Highly regarded by the critics, Carmen Jones was nominated for multiple Academy Awards, including one for Dorothy as Best Actress in 1955. Regardless of her loss to Grace Kelly, this momentous occasion marked the first time that an African-American actress had been nominated for a Best Actress Oscar. But there were few decent parts for an African-American lead in the 1950s. After parts in Porgy and Bess and Island in the Sun, few roles came Dorothy's way. In 1959, she met and married white restaurateur Jack Dennison. Dorothy had hopes for a more domestic life, but the tumultuous marriage ended after only two years when the abusive Dennison stole much of Dandridge's fortune. With her second marriage over and her career opportunities drying up, Dorothy sunk into a depression, turning to alcohol to ease her pain. The drinking became worse when she realized that she no longer had enough money to privately care for her now 20-year-old daughter, Harolyn. Filing for bankruptcy in 1963, Dandridge agonizingly decided to commit Harolyn to a state hospital. Attempting to pull her life back together, Dorothy started taking medication to alleviate her bouts of depression. She began performing at nightclubs again, making the rounds of the venues she used to pack in the old days. But the rebound didn't last long. On September 8, 1965, a concerned friend found her on the floor of her bathroom, dead of a drug overdose. She was 42.